So next we'll take a look at how we can apply an exclusion zone that text will avoid when it comes into contact with any kind of image content, such as the case here with our numbers and the red arrows. I have just noticed that um, we have a little bit of an alignment issue at the top of our article heading in here. And I think that we have an additional line return in there because if I double click in there, yeah, there's an empty space. Those four lines should line up with the top of the photograph. So if I hit the backspace key, perfect. There we go. Hit the escape key. Uh, I can hold down the space bar and pan lower down to view that section. Now, I don't want to click on these two text frames. So um, the actual arrows and the numbers and the body copy, of course, is all in the text layer in the layers panel. So what I can do is I can click on the first text frame with the selection tool active, hold down the shift key and shift and left click on this text frame. Again, go to object and choose lock. And I can click They're actually grouped together. So it's um, two circles and some text that uh, make up those uh, symbols. Hold down the shift key and shift and left click on the other one. So they're both active and then Either in the control panel up at the top, we have a group of text wrap options here, which you can also find sometimes in the properties panel. Now it, they're not revealed at the moment. So you can go up to window and go down the list to text wrap and there's a dedicated panel as well. So if I just move this into position, now all things inside of InDesign are applied with no text wrap. So those little lines are supposed to be lines of text running across an object and sharing the same space in the layout. For us, we need to hover over and click on wrap around bounding box. So it will create a text exclusion zone that your text will run around and avoid. We need a little bit of white space just to the left of each of those. So you can go down to what are called offsets. And if you make sure that the link uh, is turned off, that will allow us to independently edit these. So if you see the symbol looks like that, it means that when you change one, they all change. If I tap that down and set them back to zero, click on the link icon, and then you can edit them independently. And in this case, this is the left offset. Tap on that twice and it will increase the exclusion zone just to that edge and we get a little bit more clear space in there. And when you're done, you can then close down the text wrap panel, click away. And then for these layers here, well, I need to go to the text layer in the layers panel. Just scroll that down a little bit. And then these are the two layers that I've locked. So again, you can do it from the layers panel. Unlock here and unlock there. That should allow me to click yes on both of those text frames. Again, we have a slight issue here. This will need to be moved down. So I'm just going to move that up a second out of the way. Click on that and move that down. And then pull that handle back down again just to here. And then, yeah, that gives us the room that we need just to have the rest of that text in the article flowing in there. That would, of course, would then continue on page 18 of the newspaper. So that's how we can use text wrap to get your copy and image based content to work in harmony in the same area of the page.